What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports bringing you a brand new unboxing review and on feed look at the new Ultra Boost 19s. Let's get into this review. What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by as always. I'm bringing you a brand new review today. I'm so happy that you're here to check this one out. I've done a lot of sneaker reviews in the past. I'm a big sneaker head. I have a ton back there. A lot of you have probably seen them before. But I did go out and grab some new sneakers and I wanted to review them because I wanted to give my take on what I think these shoes offer. Let's go. This is what I've picked up. So these are the brand new Ultra Boost 19s. We're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna do it right here in front of you. We're gonna take the shoes out, one, and take the other one out, two. Boom, there we go, Ultra Boost 19. So these are the new model of the Ultra Boost. They have been out, obviously, in 2019 before, but this is my first review of the Ultra Boost 19. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them in today's video. So, the Ultra Boost 19, what is new about it? So, this is the first time we've seen a new take on the Ultra Boost sneaker. They've gone with different upper configurations in the past. The Ultra Boost first came out in 2015, I believe it was, and we've seen the 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, and they're now on the 4.0 Ultra Boost model. But this is the first revamp to the overall silo. So, again, they have a different theme in mind. This one is all about lightness, thinness, and just trying to save weight and give you the same benefit of the Ultra Boost, but in a lighter overall package. So that's the theme of this model. So what they've done to achieve that is basically reconstruct the entire upper. So we now have a new 360 prime knit material creating the upper. It's one piece, it's very thin, it has this adaptive fit technology into it where no matter which way you stretch and flex it, it'll be able to move in that direction. So you do have a lot of play with the upper. It's very thin, very stretchy, very breathable, and it's just, again, keeping in mind that lightweight feel that they're trying to achieve. The cage is different as well. It's very thin, it's got this kind of textile weave feel to it, almost like a nylon kind of material. So that is creating the cage that you see right here. Again, it's very thin and it's a lot more flexible than the regular or the Ultra Boost 4.0 cage, I should say. The other change, of course, is the heel counter right here. So on the Ultra Boost model, you do have this one piece plastic that's stuck onto the back. This time, they're only using the frame. So you can see that this part right here, that gray area, is exposed prime knit of the upper. Essentially, they're taking the frame of the Ultra Boost 4.0 and they're wrapping it around the heel to give you that structure and durability and lockdown that you need from the heel. And that's it. Again, lightness is the theme. So they've cut away that middle piece of the heel counter on the back and then they've added more boost so if you can take a look at the sheer amount of boost that we see underneath the midfoot right here this is supposed to be the enhanced boost midsole so adidas are saying that there's up to 20 percent more boost in the ultra boost 19 compared to the ultra boost 4.0 so you do have more boost cushioning underfoot to enhance the run and the feel of the shoe again lightness is the theme and the other thing that they've changed is the outsole right here so again it is in conjunction or a partnership with continental tire they've thickened the outsole a little bit there's a little bit more material here there's a bit of a different pattern underfoot as well and the theme again is just lightness but durability as well people were complaining how the traction on the ultra boost would tend to wear away quite quickly so they've gone with a thicker and more durable piece of rubber underfoot hopefully the pattern will help in achieving the durability and they're sticking that on the bottom of the ultra boost 19 so once again it is a very cool looking shoe overall there's a ton of colorways available it's light it's thin it's breathable it's a great runner and honestly in my opinion it's still one of the most comfortable sneakers that you can get the boost really is very very comfortable and one other thing that they changed, if I remove the insole from the Ultra Boost 19, if I were to look at the bottom, you see how there is material down there. On the Ultra Boost 4.0, the 1.0s, on Yeezy Boosts, and even on NMDs, NMDs don't even come with a sock liner. So when you look underneath, you see exposed boost cushioning, and so your foot is standing right on top of the boost. On this model, I think it's down to the 360 upper. They're trying to promote that they're using a 360 one-piece prime knit upper so that is why you can see that there is no boost visible when you remove the sock liner because the 360 prime knit is wrapping the entire shoe and they've stuck the boost on to the 360 one piece upper so that is my theory as to why I can't see the boost 
the exposed boost on the bottom of the shoe. So we're gonna slip them on feet, we're gonna talk about how these things fit and feel, and then we'll wrap up the video. When it comes to fit and feel of the Ultra Boost 19s, they feel extremely comfortable on feet. Noticeably, right away, you'll see how thin the upper is. They're very thin, they're a lot stretchier than the Ultra Boost 4.0, just because the general material is a lot less. There's not as much padding, there's not as much structure to the upper, so it does provide you with a very stretchy, breathable, and thin feeling. It still hugs your foot quite snug, but it will give you that flexibility and thinness that you might like to free your foot from moving around and just giving you that extra bit of comfort. The cage will still lock you in when actually running in them, but again, it's thinner and lighter and does offer a little bit more flex in terms of how the shoe feels. You still feel like you're standing on a very comfortable piece of boost. That hasn't changed. There's a lot of midsole between you and the ground. And so at least for running, it's gonna provide you with a lot of padding and cushioning that you might like. I know some runners, would prefer feeling the ground, they would prefer actually a firmer midsole, but on these ones, and for what I like at least, I definitely like that extra bit of cushioning. They are extremely comfortable, and I really do like the way the Ultra Boost 19 is at least giving you the option of having a lighter and thinner feeling shoe compared to the regular Ultra Boost, which gives you the padding and the structure in a different package. So it's nice that you do have the two options when purchasing a pair for yourselves. In terms of fit and feel, go true to size, no doubt about that in this one. Very comfortable on feet, true to size, I would strongly recommend a pair for yourselves. I genuinely like the fact that Adidas is giving you the option of a thin, very light Ultra Boost 19 or a more padded, cushiony, uh, structured, I should say, Ultra Boost 4.0. So that is pretty much it. We'll send it back to the desk and we'll wrap this video up. So there you go, guys. That is my review and on feet look at the Ultra Boost 19s. They fit very comfortably, they're very thin, and they do offer a slightly different feel compared to the Ultra Boost 4.0. If you are interested in something that's very breathable and light, and stretchy, because that is what the upper is offering you, go for the Ultra Boost 19s. If you do like sort of a structured and padded feel, go for the Ultra Boost 4.0. Either way, you're gonna be very, very happy. They're extremely comfortable. They offer fantastic comfort on feet. They feel great. And when you actually run in them, they're very comfortable. I love running in them. I still run in my Ultra Boost 1.0s. That is my review and on feed look. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please smash that like button, do whatever it is you gotta do. Hit the like button, and of course, subscribe and hit the bell notifications. I've got a lot of great videos coming, and that is it for today. I'm Mike McIntyre, all things sports. I'm signing off for now, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Take care. Peace.